Order in the court. It's time for Understanding the Law Radio. Well, hi, and thanks for joining us for this bonus episode of UTL Radio Podcast. I'm your host, Peter Lamont, along with my co-host, Brendan. And today we are, as promised, giving you Halloween bonus content. That's right. Because Brendan and I love Halloween. And this is only for our Patreon supporters, right? We have a Patreon account. Oh, I thought this was... Ah, I thought we were getting my... All right. I guess not. I guess we'll give you the content for free. The sweet, sweet content. All right. Well, here we go. Our bonus episode. We're going to do two bonus episodes. Now, normally, for those of you who haven't tuned in regularly, UTL Radio uh, comes out every Tuesday and Thursday. Mm -hmm. But today... Surprise, surprise. surprise. It's a Halloween treat. Trick or treat, and this is your treat. That's right. Today's episode, we are going to be, because we compiled this list painstakingly, top 10 movies where murder is legal. Yes. Okay? Nothing says Halloween like murder. So here we go. Number 10, The Tenth Victim. Now, this is a 1965 film, and it's one of the earliest films to run with an idea, but which was based off of a short story. Now, the story was The Seventh Victim. And it was written by Robert Sheckley. It was published in 1953. This film, which is an Italian film, The Tenth Victim, involves a game called The Big Hunt, where members of society can join the game and hunt humans to control the population. Now, arguably, uh, this sounds similar to other movies, which we can talk about, because they actually are on this list. I've not seen The Tenth Victim in its entirety. But I have seen enough to know that this is and should be the top 10. Now, the hunted in this film can reverse the role if they find out that someone's trying to kill them and take them out by any means necessary. This is very complicated. It is. Although some places prohibit the shooting of guns. What? The way, yeah, yeah. It's it's like it's like an anti-smoking sign. No smoking here. No shooting here. Oh, my God. It's It's a good movie. Actually, it's available, or at least it was when I saw it on voodoo.com for free. So, okay. Number 10, The Tenth Victim. Number nine. I thought you were cueing me to talk about it again. I was like, what? No. I you're, 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 recap. you're recapping. You're putting an, an, end, an, end, an end cap. I got it. Number nine, Battle Royale 1 and 2. And I'm not talking about the popular video game Fortnite Battle Royale. I am talking about the movie Battle Royale, which came out in the year 2000. These movies are about school children having to fight each other to be the last one alive in a form of population control, which is very messed up. <laughs> it's messed up. It features uh, dry humor that makes the absurd murders and brutal brutality of the movie seem disgusting. And it's um, a messed up movie. And I've heard it's very good. A lot of people seem to like it. I don't personally know because I've never seen it. But uh, it involves, I mean, ch- children. They have to fight each murder. other. All right. Until so, they have to get one left. You know, uh, Victory Royale. Very nice. That's a good, That's it's like, uh, what, what's that movie with, uh, you, you, the big movie with the, the Mockingbird. The Mockingbird. What? Oh, come on. The popular movie. Oh, Hunger Games. Yes. Hunger thank Games. You. It's no, like, that's different. It's like. Well, these people are hungrier. They're hungrier for blood. Yeah, wow. All right, next. 2012 film called Tater City. All right, now, this one, pretty clever. It, it's about a group called The Authority who found a way to separate common people from criminals. The Authority sends radio waves that make cr- makes criminals kill themselves. All right. Uh, amazing. Right? This doesn't sound amazing to me. But they do it. They do it in violent ways. That's awful. Okay? So now when you hear this radio wave, these criminals can legally kill themselves. Okay? Although, question here, is suicide illegal? I don't you know. You have killed yourself. So how can you be brought up for charges when yeah. you're already dead? So I question that. I question that. But yes, Tater City, 2012, another one of these messed up films that are on our list. But it is it is what it is because our list is the top films where murder is legal. And we are giving you 
facts. Huh. Facts. All right. Now, I'm going to hand it over to you because you weren't good with the segue last time. No, I was so, not good with the segue. I, mean, I was left confused and shocked. Brendan. Yes? Well, don't be so shocked All right. that you run into a concrete wall as if you were th- running through a, a haunted house. I will not be that shocked. That was in our last episode. So two two episodes ago. Two episodes two ago. Two episodes ago. You're losing track of time. If, We're having yeah, so much fun. We are having fun. If you haven't listened to that one, you have to listen to it. Yes. All right. So number seven. The Cabin in the Woods. It's a movie in which a bunch of people go into a cabin in the woods. And if I recall, it starts off very generically, but gets uh, very crazy as the movie goes on. Uh, in the movie, the humans need to be sacrificed in order for the world to be left alone by ancient gods that rule the earth. Pretty nuts. That is nuts. Pretty crazy. But the humans that put all this in place don't see themselves as bad people because they're saving millions of people by allowing only a handful of that number to die. That's very kind of them. Yes. This is a 2012 film, Cabin in the Woods. That's right. Very so interesting. That's that. that is that one. Now, a, lot of, a lot of murdery movies we're yes. talking about here. This next one is the one that I would, if somebody said to me, hey, I need a movie where murder is legal, this mm-hmm. one should be number one in my mind because it's the one that just, it says it. It says, for the next 24 hours, all crimes, including murder, will be legal. That's messed I'm, up. I'm talking about the purge. I hate. I don't like this movie. It makes me very worried. I, I like, would not ever want this to be a reality. I like the first one. I thought the first one was really good. The purge is basically a, a, a government, right? That has 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 come over into. Well, it's not come over. It, it's it's an evolution of the United States government, mm-hmm. and the current government has established one night where all crimes, including murder, are legal. And it's really, uh, it's a sport for the the elitists, and it's it's got more to it than what we're going to get into on our list here. But the Purge is an excellent example of one where murder murder is legal. Basically, the government is saying you can go do whatever you want. It's legal. We're telling you it's legal. Please go kill people, have a lot of fun, you know, knock yourself out. That that's what they're telling you. So, number six on the list is the Purge. Huh. I don't like the purge. Mess, messed up. Very messed up. The next one is called The Belko Experiment from 2016. One of the legal murder in an office job movies is The Belko Experiment. It falls into a category of movies where people have to kill each other until only one of them is left. There's a lot of movies like that. As we've mentioned, Battle Royale. Um, in The Belko Experiment, uh, the murder is legal because it is indeed an experiment, as the title suggests. So so they have experimentally granted yes. permission yep. to commit murder. Yeah, pretty much. Nice. Now, the next one, I love. I love this one, I too. I love the next one. All right. I, see, you love it so much, I'm going to let you talk about it. Number really? Four, number four. Okay, The Running Man, an awesome movie. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yep. Um, 1987. Yeah. I love it. I said I'd let you talk about it. Yeah, but you're not. You keep cutting me off here. I'm going to let you talk about it. In the movie. You saw the movie, right? I did see the movie. All right. In the movie, criminals are the ones that have to participate in a game show. In this game show, it's a crazy multi-level, like, real-life game show where they got to fight against all kinds of people, and uh, they win a pardon for whatever their crime is. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, but there is an audience to watch it all, and it's legal. And it's hosted by Richard Dawson. Yes, from, it's from a, what was he from? Twenty thousand pyramid. Twenty thousand. What was he? He was a, a real life game show host in the seventies and the eighties, maybe even the sixties. And hmm. and and he was. Maybe he was. No, wait a minute. What's the one? It's not the pyramid. What's the one where match game? No, no, no. Survey says. Family Feud. Family Feud. I think he was the host of Family Feud. Can you fact check me on that? Yeah. Yep. Family Feud. And and so he was the host of The Running Man. Now, unbeknownst to all the participants of The Running Man, you don't actually get a pardon. No. If you win Family Feud? No. Well, that's different. If you if you win The Running Man, you don't get pardoned. You get killed. Well, no, no, no. No, no, no. You're 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 forgetting here. The point was if you win, you get a pardon. But, but none of those people it did. It turns out, yeah, it, it, in a plot twist that you've just spoiled. It's 1987. True, if you haven't seen true. The Running Man, 
in a plot twist, it's revealed that the people who did win were just killed and dumped in a basement. Yeah. And it was all a big conspiracy. Yep, but but that's that's another one where killing is legal. I mean, because you you can fight to the death here. All right, yep. Number three, Slashers. This is a 2001 film. Uh, similar idea, but you know, to The Running Man, but more more horror. It, it's Slashers, as you would think. It's a game show called Slashers, yeah, where people sign up to outlive a group of ready. Yeah, slasher right. killers Ooh. for a large sum of money so similar idea game show here um that's that's where all right legal legal you can kill because it's part of the game show so authorized and there you go number two it's amazing uh i just i want to add go ahead i've never seen slashers but it sounds interesting are you gonna be watching slashers today maybe i'll watch slashers well i want to talk oh, about the number man. two movie and it's gonna be crazy so much so I'd consider it to be mayhem because that's the movie. Uh, this is another one in an office building. It's um, 2017. Yeah, 2017. Uh, in this movie, murder is legal when a red eye rage virus infects humans. There's a cure, but it takes hours to take effect. So in the meantime, the infected are quarantined and have exemption for their actions even murder if they were infected while committing the crime. Now, this sounds a little bit, the virus, like the virus in the 28 Days Later. Yes, you remember but that? it's not. Crazy. Yes. So now, you know, you go to work and you get infected mm -hmm. and it's a killing spree. Yep. I believe that, I cannot remember the character, the guy from The Walking Dead was yes, in this. Yes, he was. Stephen Yuan or something like that. Yes. What was his... I can't remember his name. He died in The Walking Dead. Um, Glenn. His name was Glenn. Yes. Like that, yeah. All right, and, and number one, where... A number one movie where killing is legal. Yeah. Pretty much any zombie apocalypse movie. You are allowed to just fair game, open up... And kill as many zombies as you want. Pretty much. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. You can yeah. You can murder zombies. Yeah. Now. It's allowed. Do you think in the future, if there's a zombie apocalypse, that there will be zombies who have mutated to have some slight cognizance? And maybe there's a zombie there's lawyer? A, yes, there is. Well, there is in um the uh, dead movies, which were... George A. Romero in, in Night of the Living Dead yes. and Dawn of the Dead and then Day of the Dead, the whole point of um, Day of the Dead was that there was a zombie that they kind of uh, domesticated, and uh, he was, he was like, learning, and they showed him how to use a gun, and he, like, learned, and he wasn't mean to them. You know, he wasn't eating them. He So we would need representation. Basic human functions, right. Representation for zombies. Mm -hmm. And at that point, Maybe zombie killing would be illegal. Yes. You just don't know. Yeah. Just don't know. Well, that is going to be our list. Remember, this is a bonus episode. Uh, that's our list of the top 10 movies where murder is legal. Just to recap, mm -hmm. we got 10, the 10th victim. We got nine, Battle Royale 1 and 2. Number eight, Tater City. Number seven, Cabin in the Woods. Number six, The Purge. Number five, The Belko Experiment. Number four, The Running Man. Yeah. Number three, Slashers. Number two, Mayhem. And number one, any zombie movie that you can think of. Now, before we go, I want a question for you on The Running Man. Okay. Do you think that there could have been, now, and I'm not talking now, but 1989 maybe? This film was 1987. Do you think there could have been a sequel? Uh, I would have liked it. But do you but, think there could have been with Arnold? No, with Arnold? No, that doesn't make sense for it to be Arnold. I like yeah. the ending of the movie the way it is. It's like the Predator, if you ask me. The Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger was awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. But I never got behind the Predator Two, which didn't have Arnold. I believe it had Danny Glover in it. Really? And although I love Danny Glover, I thought he was great in in the Lethal Weapon series. I just don't buy him in the Predator. It just the for me when you say the Predator. I think of Arnold. When you say The Running Man, I think of Arnold. So if there had to be a Running Man 2. Interesting. It wouldn't have been the same. Wouldn't have been the same. I don't know. I can name a bunch of sequels that I thought were better than the originals with different actors. Like, like what? Like, um, uh -huh. 
uh, Nightmare on Elm Street two was better than Nightmare on Elm Street one. But 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 Freddy Krueger was the same guy. No, right, no, but they were other different people. They no, were other different not, people. The movie's about Freddy Krueger. Okay, if fair, you ask fair, me, fair, fair, fine. So that doesn't fine. count. Um, I'm gonna say a Christmas story two. You liked the people in the Christmas Story two better than well, no, maybe not better than, but oh it stands gosh. on its own. It stands on its and own. And this isn't even a oh, Halloween movie. Of which, a teaser for a new Christmas Story just dropped. You know, so like twenty minutes before this podcast, but a Christmas Story Christmas is coming to HBO Max with Peter Billingsley, with, with right? Him as returning That's as Ralphie, be awesome this November. All right, but we can't talk about this. That, no, because it's Halloween. This is Halloween. Unless you Ralphie are, murders in the new movie, we you, should not. You're talk like about Jack Skellington. You have yeah. crossed over into that's Christmas right. Town. Nightmare before Christmas. It's not not good. Yeah, not good. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. If you haven't seen any of these movies on this list of ours, where, please do. Well, I, I'm Except not going to be spoiled. I'm not going to encourage it. I have no idea. You might be drastically repulsed from this i don't know but anyway that's our list of 10 movies where murder is legal that's going to do it for this episode hope you enjoyed this bonus content and we will talk to you next time thanks for listening to understanding the law radio if you haven't done so already make sure that you subscribe to the podcast we're available anywhere that you listen to your podcasts including amazon apple music spotify iHeartRadio, and many more also don't forget to check us out online on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks again. See you next time.